16.2. Graphing integers on a number line. Easy today. All right, so bear with me as I write some data down here that we are going to plot. Let's say Arizona. These are going to be the lowest points in the state. Arizona has the lowest point um, within its state at 70 feet above sea level. So is that going to be a plus or a minus? That's going to be a plus. So I'll say plus 70 here. Vermont. Vermont has a, its lowest point is 95 feet above sea level. So that's going to be a plus 95. Louisiana, my home state, has a lowest point of 8 feet Ooh, below sea level. So that's going to be a minus 8. And then we'll go ahead and throw Arkansas right above it. Has a lowest point of 55 feet above sea level. So we'll say that's a plus. Now we're going to go ahead and, and plot this all this data here on a number line. So of course you would use a ruler but I'll just draw this out quickly. There we go. And looking at it we've got uh, what's our greatest number? Oh, Vermont right here at a plus 95 and their lowest point would be a negative 8 here with Louisiana. So I'm guessing we could probably wait Looking at this number line, we need to kind of break it up into um, intervals. So I'm thinking we could probably do this with um, what intervals of 10. But we've got that negative there, so we can't just start with 0. So let's go ahead and we're going to put 0 right here. And we'll say 10. And minus 10 is right there. So as equal as, the I, as I can, I'm going to divide this out. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So that's going to be 10, 20. Now, normally class, we would need to be putting some pluses in here. But I think it's going to get a little too crowded down there. So on your paper, you'll know to do that, OK? So let's go ahead and label these 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. Okay? So again, on your paper, I want you to make sure that anything on the left side of the zero, you're going to have a negative, a negative sign. And on the right side, you're going to have pluses on whatever interval you do. So looking at this, now we need to plot our data. Shouldn't be too difficult. Arizona is at a plus 70. So we're going to go ahead and put that data point right there and label that as Arizona has its lowest point at 70 feet above sea level. Vermont, 95. Halfway between there. And we'll label that Vermont. Louisiana, a minus 8, a negative 8. So we'll say that's right there. Louisiana. And then Arkansas is at a plus 55. Arkansas. So just labeling these points on here, you know to label the negatives on the left side of 0 and then the positives will be on the right hand side. So in class today I'm going to have everybody basically just uh, create some number lines. So just to recap here's what we did. First we chose an interval. We kind of had to look at our data here to see what the interval would be. And then we drew the number line. We made sure to label that all the integers to the right of the zero right here have a positive sign. You're going to include that. And those to the left of the zero are going to have negative sign. Then we 
uh, located each of the integers on the number line and graph that point. And then we kind of labeled each one of those points. Shouldn't be di too difficult. Everybody should be able to do that quickly. Um, so let's practice that tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning.